How to create a button with an image and a text in Flutter? We will also include the material ripple effect if we tap on the button. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's start with the square image that you see here on the right side. And now if we tap on this image, then we want to include a ripple effect. To achieve this, you need to wrap your image inside of an inkwell widget. So you can listen now to taps if you tap here on this image. However, if I tap on the image, then we have not the splash effect. To fix this, you need to replace your image network or image asset widget by this ink image widget. And within the image property, you need to put your network image inside, or you can also put here your asset image inside if you want to load your image from the assets folder instead. And with this, I can tap here on this image and we have this material ripple effect. If you like, you can also change the color of your material ripple effect. So I put here a different color inside, which is a bit more darker. So if I tap here on this image, then you see that we have a darker splash effect. Next, you can also include a text under your image or on top of your image. To create your text above your image, you can simply go inside of the child property of your ink image widget and here you set then a text widget. And with this, we have then on the top left corner here this text widget. And if you like, you can also wrap here some alignment around. So I want to center the text. And with this, you see that the text is now centered and we have still the splash effect. You also can display your text under this image. Therefore, we simply wrap our image inside of a column. And lastly, below our image, we want to include then simply here a text widget. As a result, we have under our image this text. And if you like, you can also give it here some background color. Therefore, I make the text color again to white. And then I go here up and around my inkwill widget, I want to wrap then a material widget where I set then the background color of this button. And like you can see, now we have also here a background color and the splash effect is going on top of both of them. Next, you can use your material widget to also create a shadow around your button. So here, if I hot reload, you see that we have some shadow around our image. And secondly, you can also make here your whole widget rounded. Therefore, you go again to your material widget and here inside, you can then set the border radius to make your widget rounded. And you can also change here the clip behavior so that it is more smooth in the roundness. As a result, the image and also the splash effect are rounded. Next, you can also display any image on the left or on the right side of your button. So in this case, we can simply make this column to a row to display the image and also the text next to each other. You can also change then here the size of your image. And secondly, between the image and the text widget, you can also change the spacing. So I put it here to width instead of height. As a result, we have our custom button with the image on the left side and also the splash effect is working. And of course, with the row, you can also do any customization that you want. So for example, you put this image at the end of your row. And as a result, we have then here the image on the right side. And finally, we want to create a circle image with the splash effect. Therefore, we can first of all remove here the whole row because we only want to keep our image. And I also make the image again a bit larger. So now we are back with the rounded image and the splash effect. And next, we also want to make it a circle. So here we have to find before the border radius to make it rounded. Instead of the border radius, you can define a shape and we put here a circle border inside. Let's also try it out. So if I hot reload, then you see we have here a rounded image that is having here the splash effect. If you like, you can also wrap around your image a container and inside of this container, you can then define a border and we want to define here now a blue border. And you see, you also need to change then this border to make it rounded, otherwise it is not rounded. And therefore we also want to define here the shape. So I put it to circle. And now as a result, you will see that our image here is rounded and also the border is rounded. And of course, the same also works if you put here instead a border radius inside to make it less rounded. And here at the top in your material widget, you also change it to a border radius. As a result, if I now hot reload, then you see we have here this rounded border instead and the splash effect is also working fine. And by the way, if you liked this video, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.